Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Thursday's Yoga. And today we are still in August, not quite finished yet. Um, but the moment you've all been waiting for is we are going to address the core. We started with the toes, we went to the hips, and now it's the core. Um, and core is defined as the center of something. Uh, so we use that word quite a bit when we speak about core values, our core beliefs, our core group of friends, and of course, the core of an apple or whatever fruit. I'm an apple girl. So, you know, you, um, you know, the core is something that is strong. The center of the Earth's core is iron. I thought that that was really interesting. And, and that really does help us to imagine the core of something has to be strong. Um, from my experience, getting to the core, I'd like to think I'm on a journey of discovering my core, the core of who I am. And we endure a lot in that journey and being strong and persistent in carrying on is vital. And so today we're going to work on our physical core, but keep in mind the other cores of our life that we refer to um, and all with the hope that through mindful work, we become stronger and arrive at a place that we find has been there all along and it's a good place to be at. So, okay, with that said, shout out today, um, August. You know, it dawned on me that I bought close to 10, maybe nine, uh, birthday cards this month. And within my core family, there are 11 now birthdays. Um, and I wanted to give a shout out to each person. So Rob and Neil McLean both share August 25th. And then there's my sister Sharon, my sister Anne. And I hope I can remember all this. And then there is, I do have a cheat sheet, Dickie Redman. And then now on to my grandchildren. So Owen Murphy, Connor Murphy, and of course the twins, the Duns, Rosie and Jack. And I'm really happy to announce that we've had two um, new family members arrive this month. Um, Dickie Redmond had his first child, Harry, and my niece Mariah Metcalf had her first child, Walker. Um, and when I thought about, um, not too long, but I did think about, I always like to think about when you're conceived, when you arrive. It's just my thing. Anyhow, um, you August babies were conceived in and around Thanksgiving, which is a season of gratitude and um, Thanksgiving. And so um, anyhow, I am grateful that each one of you family members is in my life. You make up the core of really who I am, family. And so I honor you on your August birthday and I hope it was joyous and happy during this challenging time. So happy birthday all. All right, housekeeping. Finding a comfortable seated pose on a cushion, a blanket. Use the blanket too um, for under your knees. We're gonna be doing, four, remember, some plank and we're gonna come down on our elbows. Um, so a, a blanket is nice, just kind of softens. And don't think we're gonna need the strap today, but always good to have one handy. So, especially in yoga. And don't forget to blow your nose. We want the breath. If there's anything you take away from yoga, please take the breath and the importance of the breath. Breath and movement, 
Remember, motion is lotion. And I don't have to think of something to put the breath in there, but breath and motion is um, awareness of the two together is just a beautiful thing. So, all righty. Um, with all that said, we can now begin our core class on um, in yoga. And I invite you all to just take it down. Come to a comfortable seated pose by removing or removing. <laughs> we wish we could remove some of that flesh, huh? Um, moving, pulling back the flesh of your backside, allowing your hips to just slide forward a wee bit. Um, spine straight, shoulders, roll the shoulders slowly, beginning to slow everything down and then reverse opposite. And now with the extension through the crown of your head, rooting your sits bones into your cushion, I invite you to either place your hands facing down in a gesture of feeling grounded or upwards in a gesture of receiving wherever you are. Close your eyes with your lips pursed together, begin that beautiful, slow inhale breath through the nose, always in through the nose and out through the nose. And as you inhale, feel the belly rise. And on the exhale, fall. Fill up, perhaps to the count of four, five on the inhale, feeling the belly, rib cage, lungs all expand. And then contract, pull in your belly, push the air out on the exhale. Find this nice, slow cadence. Feel the breath moving throughout your body. Awareness brought to the belly, of course, because we're filling up there. But allow your attention to travel throughout your body. Imagine your breath is like a flashlight, moving slowly as we journey through the body, perhaps shining light on an area that has been speaking to you. Let's answer whatever it is with the soft breath. Feel your breath. And if you constrict the back of your throat, you come into the ujjayi breath, the audible ocean sounding breath. And now your mind just begins to slow down. Your thoughts will always be there waiting for you. Just tell them I know. We'll get to you soon. But listen to your breath. If you hear your breath, feel your breath, your mind automatically slows down. So begin to just listen and slow down. Take three deep ujjayi breaths. And now, floating your eyelids open, sitting straight up, move with your breath, inhale. Bring your arms all the way up on the inhale and then exhale like you were just floating down through honey. Nice and slow, inhale. Bring your feet, uh, your fingertips together, exhale. One more time, moving with your breath. Inhale. And now exhale. Placing your left fingertips on a block or the floor. Inhale. 
right arm comes up, pressing into your left palm, into your left fingertips. We're gonna talk a little bit about the placement of your fingers. I was really happy, I'm gonna give you a shout out, Robbie, for responding to anyone who had some concerns about body parts or, you know, ideas for classes, and I appreciate all of you. But today we're gonna to focus on the wrist. On your next exhale, floating your right fingertips down. Inhale, left arm comes up. Tent your fingers a wee bit, like, like there was a ladybug you were protecting. You didn't wanna squish it. So you just have that slight rise in your fingertips. I'm gonna move my stuff away. So your hand is down and your thumb is pointed out to the side. Take a glance, reach up, feel the nice stretch. We're gonna have a lot more chances to address the wrists. On your next exhale, left hand comes down. Inhale, right hand comes over left knee. Left hand comes behind. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, gaze over your left shoulder. Rooting down through the sits bones, rising up on the inhale through the crown of your head. Each exhale might have you twisting just a wee bit more. Inhale, one more, rise up. Exhale, take an inhale. And on your exhale, ride your breath as your left hand comes over right knee. Press in on the inhale. Exhale, twist. You might feel a nice adjustment in your spine, your vertebrae. Inhale, extend up. Pressing your sits bones down into your cushion. On your next inhale, rise up. Exhale, ride your breath. Right arm comes over, grabs a hold of left knee. Grab a hold of both your knees. We're gonna open the back side, open the shoulders. Tuck your chin into your chest, round your spine, pull your knees down. Really breathe into this wonderful opening of the back side of your body. On your next inhale, ride your breath as both arms come behind. Just again, tenting your fingertips. You don't wanna press into the fatty part of your palm. You really wanna engage your fingers, dropping your head slightly, pressing your chest up and open, opening your heart and breathe. On your next inhale, come back to seated, removing the cushion, just keeping it close by, we're gonna need that. Bringing your hips a little wider than hip width distance, shoulders up, back and down, fingertips, and toes in the same direction. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, drop your knees to your left. Moving to the center on the inhale. Exhale, opposite side. Moving with your breath. Inhale, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Next time we come to the left, swing your right arm over. Inhale to center, just warming up the body right now. Slowly, mindfully, inhale to center. Exhale to the left side. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Next time we come over to the left, we're gonna pop on to our left knee, left wrist, left palm. Once again, keep your Fingertips slightly tented, extend right arm, right leg. Really feel that beautiful, nice stretch. Hold it here for a couple of breaths. Feel the opening. On your next exhale, come back to center. Take an inhale as you ride over, popping onto the right knee, right palm. Extend left arm, left leg and breathe, really feel that wonderful straight stretch from fingertips to toes and breathe. On your next exhale, come back to center. Take a breath here and now here we're gonna do reverse table. 
So we're gonna begin to work on the core, fingertips and toes in the same direction, shoulders rounded up, back and down. We're gonna pop up into a reverse table. Gaze up and on your next exhale, come back seated. Now for the next couple ones, we're gonna scoot back through. If that's not in your practice, then come back to a seated. You have to listen to your body and know where you are. But for the rest of you, let's go. On your next inhale, pop up. Exhale, come all the way through. Keep your bottom off the mat. Use your core. We're beginning now to warm up. Pratapana, stoking the fire. Keeping your bottom off the floor. We have 15 more to do. <laughs> Only two more. Okay. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come through. Last one. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, come on down. Dropping down to the side, flex your feet, shoulders up, back and down. And now leading with your chest, your chin, not this. You don't want to come forward with the shoulders. Hinge at the hips, come forward, walk your hands down to your shins. I guess you could use your belt here if you'd like, but we're not gonna stay here very long. If you can, take your little hadas and put them over your padas and pull, bend your elbows. Just a nice stretch. Again, we're still warming up and breathe. On your next inhale, come up. And we're just gonna do one nice rep of, I would like you to lie down. Don't worry, you're not staying here very long. Point your toes, palms on the mat. On your next in, you know, let's put your palms on your belly. I think this is good, you'll feel your core contract. On your next inhale, come up. Feel your core contract, exhale. Down. Let's do four more. Inhale. Exhale. Feel your core contract. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Simple but effective. Beginning to strengthen the core. Exhale. Come down. One more. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Come down. Draw your knees up using your core. We always want to use the core. Drop your knees to the side. Roll over and come on up. We're gonna switch on over onto your knees. Okay, um, let's come into table here. Now, this is where we can focus. Actually, I'll face forward so you can see. Taking your fingertips and don't have it flat. We don't want this portion on the mat because that is gonna put a lot of pressure on your wrists. So a slight tenting of your fingers, like, I don't know, like you were, I don't play the piano, but if you were thumbs facing each other. Okay, thumbs facing each other, knees under hips, tops of your feet pressing into the mat. On your next inhale, drop your belly, gaze up. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chin, really exaggerated. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Three more on your own. Breathing. One more after this. Okay, on your next inhale. Extend left arm, right leg. Exhale, elbow to knee, chin to chest. Inhale, extend. Pull in your core. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, extend. Turn your palm, flex your foot out to the side. Hold it here and breathe. I know, I've, I've switched it up on you. You're saying, normally we go right back in but we're gonna hold it for a little bit because we're working our core. On your next inhale, come back to center, take a deep inhale. Exhale, out to the side. And you're absolutely right, we're gonna hold it again. We're gonna hold it for three breaths. Take three deep breaths. 
Really hold, take your breaths. One more on your next inhale. Come back and now we're just gonna go out to the side. You're gonna see how easy that is now. Inhale to center, last one. Exhale out to the side. Inhale to center, exhale. Take a neutral breath here, a few breaths. But now you see how much easier it was because we held it. But we're really gonna get into the core, folks. Okay, on your next inhale, right arm, left leg, exhale, elbow to knee, chin to chest. Inhale, ride your breath like the waves of an ocean. You're really catching a beautiful wave. Exhale, okay, on this one, turn your palms, flex your foot, bring it out to the side and hold it. Breathe. We could, I could recite a poem or something. No, if your leg starts to drop, no worries. But if you're mindful of that, lift it up. One more breath. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, did we do X? Oh no, we're keeping them that way. That's right, I'm sorry, I'm all X. I'm delirious, I'm having so much fun. Okay, keep it up, three breaths. Whew. I know, we're feeling it. We're really feeling our leg. Can you answer it with the breath? One more, inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, come back to center. And now, out to the side, back to center, out to the side, back to center, last one out to the side and back to center. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, I wasn't planning on holding it, it just came into my mind. I know. Okay, let's pop back into child pose. Walk your hands up, rest your forehead, and be grateful you did that. I need to sip the tea. Okay. Okay. On your next inhale, <laughs> come on up. Walk up to your, we're gonna do camel pose. Here in camel, tops of your feet pressing down as though you were slipping your fingers into your back pockets. Shoulders up back, draw in your belly, draw up your pelvic core, breathe. Take a deep inhale, extend up, and then exhale, pressing your front side, your thighs, psoas, forward. And let's just take sips of air here. On your next inhale, come back to center. Take a neutral breath here. We're gonna go a little bit further. If that's not in your practice, just stay in camel. On your next inhale, reach up, exhale, pressing forward, you're up and over, don't collapse your back. If you can, grab a hold of your wrist. If you wanna tuck your toes under, go ahead. Wherever you can grab, and now inhale, as though you were springing forward, and then drop your head back, and breathe. One more inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, slowly come up. And here, extend your left leg out to the side so that you're perpendicular, I think so. So the inside of your foot is facing forward. Your left hand is sliding down your thigh. Let's place it on the inside actually so we can, it'll allow us to twist open. Inhale, right arm comes up, exhale, gaze up and breathe. It's just a nice kind of stretch on the side before we get to our real core work, folks. It's coming up. I know you're excited. On your next inhale, come back to center. Inhale and exhale, bring your leg in. Take a neutral breath, round your spine. Inhale, right leg comes out to the side. Turn your foot so it's facing to the back or the side. I don't know how you're facing, but you get the, uh, the picture. Okay, so 
rolling your shoulders, sliding your right arm down your right thigh as you inhale, breathe, coming up onto, pressing the left top of your left foot into the mat and breathe. One more inhale and exhale here. On your next exhale, floating your left arm, bringing your right foot in, your right knee in. Okay, let's come on to the fingertips of your hands and walk your left knee up and over, bringing your foot out to the side and your right foot out and begin now this, you might want to have your pillow or your blanket close by. This is just a nice hip opener. We've warmed up our body. We're a little on the toasty side, I'd say. Shoulders up, back and down. Drawing in your left knee, just slightly pull it in. On your next inhale, let go. Bring your hands up and now turning your palms. This is another nice wrist stretch. You know, we do so much with our computers now and sitting. You know, that camel pose we just did, that's wonderful if you're sitting a lot because we shorten the front side of our thighs, those muscles, and by sitting quite a bit. So that's just a good one, um, you know, to keep in mind. And same thinking about your wrists bending your wrists back because of the way we're on phones and computers. On your next exhale, float both hands down slowly, riding your breath and begin to come back up onto your knees, walking your hands slowly. Inhale as your right knee comes up and over, bring your feet out to the side and then begin to walk slowly your hands back. Maybe, you feel a difference in your hips. I so definitely feel a difference in my hips. And so that's a beautiful thing, you know, when you can bring awareness inside and say, oh, there's such a difference. One's a little bit tighter perhaps, um, but just bringing your awareness in. Okay, I forgot. Inhale, bring both arms up, interlace your fingers, Pressing the inside of your palms up, still rooting down through your sit bones, extending through the crown of your head. Your spine is nice and straight. Shoulders are back and breathe. And so can you notice the differences from one side of your body to the other without, oh, that's my bad side. Oh, please, let's not refer to any part of ourselves as bad. That's just a wee bit tighter, huh? Okay, I'm aware of that now. And breathe. Just breathe into what you notice. On your next exhale, float both hands down. Roll back on to your knees. And while you're here, we're gonna come into plank. So I'm gonna do plank on the side. So here once again, let's start plank for those who perhaps um, there's going to be a few modifications. And in plank, we don't want to drop the belly and we don't want to come up high like this. We want to keep a flat back. Tenting the fingers a wee bit. Remember that little ladybug and thumbs facing each other. And so walk your, hand, your feet back, roll over your toes, and now just pop up your knees. So this is plank pose. So you don't want to be like this and you don't want to be up here. You want to have that nice. So let's just rock a bit. Feel the stretch in the back side of your, um, your ankles. Feeling that nice stretch in the back of your legs. You're drawing your belly in like it was a corset and you're pulling up your pelvic floor. So that's an area that we often don't speak about but that pelvic floor has a lot of life and power and fire in it. So draw it up, really feel it. Feel that like you're hooking it to your belly button or something. I don't know. You imagine it any way you'd like, but holding it here and really feeling this. 
And so we'll stay here. I don't know, what time do we have? We got a half hour, so let's not um, move. Okay, let's drop the knees, the chest and the chin coming into Cobra. I haven't moved my elbows. They're right alongside. Butt is up in the air, chin is down. Take a breath on your next exhale. Drop your belly, tops of your feet, pressing in to the mat. On your next inhale, my hands haven't moved yet. And now we're working on the lower back, pulling up. That's how we protect, that's part of core strength is the lower back. So you want the two of them to work together. So breathing here, on your next exhale, round over. And for those, if you need to pop up, roll into the side, but those who can, slowly come up. And now exhale into downward dog. And breathe here. Take another inhale and exhale. And we're gonna do something fun now. Walk your feet almost to the back of your mat and your hands a wee bit forward. So you're really in this nice triangle look. On your, take a deep inhale. On your next exhale, come down. Inhale, pop up. Exhale, core is engaged. Exhale, come back. Inhale, come down, just coming onto your toes. Nothing's moving but your body. Hands and feet. Let's do three more. Moving with your breath. Dropping your knees. And now walking your hands a little bit closer in. So hands now are under shoulders, palms spread apart. Walk your feet back and we're coming back into plank. Take a breath here. On your next exhale, we're gonna come down onto elbows. Now this might be um, where you grab your uh, blanket and hold it. But basically what I'd like you to do is let's just bring the palms of your hands together. Um, maybe you can tell where you are if by grabbing a hold of your two biceps. So here, so you know your shoulders are right under your, um, uh, your elbows, I'm sorry, are right under your shoulders. So you grab a hold of your biceps and you breathe. So gaze straight down, find that dristy, find that point of focus. If this is too much, drop your knees. No shame in wherever you are. And then pop back up, test yourself. But here we're building the core. Breathe. On your next exhale, drop your knees, your chest and your chin all the way down to the floor. Bring your chin down. Take a couple breaths here. Arms come out to the side. Feet are together, toes pointed, chin on the floor. On your next inhale, bring everything up. So I'm gonna come to the side, stay where you are. So on your next inhale, you just wanna keep like you're a 747 and breathe. Inhale, keep coming up a little higher. Once again, we're strengthening the lower back. Your feet have come apart. That's okay, they started together. The important thing is each inhale has you coming a wee bit higher up. One more breath here. On your next exhale, drop it left ear to the mat and take a neutral breath. You guys are doing great. I can just tell. I feel it, actually. Okay. On your next inhale, come on back up. 
We are now going to do side plank on your elbow. So let's just roll over. Like you're at the beach, right? How many times do we sit here like this on the beach? Okay, flex your feet. Your hips are stacked. Elbow, once again, is under your shoulder. Arm to the side on your next. Now, to have it just a wee bit easier, accessible for some, you don't have to stack your feet. You can bring your right foot up over your left and then pop up. And now we're getting the obliques. So, if you want, you can stack. What we don't want to do is, you know, we really want to pull up and um, resting on your shoulder, raise your right arm up. Just pull up, gaze up maybe. Wear your eyes so your body follows. So holding it here and breathing. Isn't this great? This is a good pose. You guys haven't done this one yet, I know. Anytime. We'll put this in all of our classes now. All right, you guys are great. All right, on your next exhale, slowly drop down. And let's come back down onto the belly. And here, bend our feet, grab a hold of the outside of your palms of your feet, soles of your feet, and this may be where you want. Once again, I told you we didn't need the strap, but I guess, actually I'm making this up as I go. Um, so here, use a strap, get into this pose, and you want to push your feet to pull you up. You don't want to um, pull with your hands. You want to push your feet into your hands and breathe and feel that nice opening, that nice stretch in the front, your lower back, and breathe. On your next exhale, drop your legs down, arms to the side, right ear on the mat. We come over and we're gonna right ear on the mat and breathe. Okay. Come on up. Once again, shoulders under your uh, elbows under your shoulder and roll over onto your other side. We're still we've gone back to the beach. Okay? Stacking your feet makes it a wee bit a little more challenging. If you want, drop that left foot in front and then pop up. Wherever you are, move with your breath. So on your next inhale, come on up. Working the sides, Shoulder, whoopsie, elbow under shoulder. And you may find, like, you know, I'm a little wobbly on this side. Obviously, I don't do this pose a lot, but I'm just observing it. It's like, huh, I'm learning something new about myself. Okay, flex your feet wherever they are, even if they're out in front. Each inhale, on your next inhale, raise your left arm up. Elbow is under shoulder. If you want, look up. We're gonna hold three breaths here. Really feeling it, feeling it in the side. We're getting the whole core, front, back, sides. We don't want anyone to feel left out here. One more inhale and exhale. One more for good measure. On your next exhale, come on down onto your belly. Ah, okay. Let's grab a hold of the back of your hands. Interlace your fingers. Point your toes. Gaze forward on your next inhale. Let's just come up and breathe here. You're really getting strong. Really working your lower back, front side. Pull your kneecaps up, point your toes, 
Everything is engaged and breathe. One more inhale. On the next exhale, release. Arms to the side, bring your arms up and put your forehead down and take a breath. I'm gonna get a sip of tea. See what other fun things I have for you. Okay, we have two more really good core poses. Then we'll do a little vinyasa flow and we'll be in good shape. Okay, so you're on your bellies. Let's roll over. You're back at the beach, catching rays. God, remember those days? I like run from the sun now. Every little wrinkle. Okay. Um, on your next inhale, draw your knees up and hands here and let's begin to rock and roll. So let's back and forth. Try not to let your feet hit the ground. This is a nice massage from all those back bends. Breathe as you're moving. Next time we pop up, pardon me, let's stay here. And this is where you can be. You can stay right here with your knees bent. And if you want to grab a hold of the front side, the important thing is, is your core is really strong. It's really engaged and your pelvic floor is even pulled up. So everything is on fire. If you want, you can hold the back as long as you're not like this. You want shoulders up, back and down. Core is engaged and breathe. If you want to take it to full expression, point your toes, arms out to the side, 10 breaths. Okay, I'm gonna have everyone count to themselves. I'm on breath three. But you know, why would you cheat yourself staying up as long as you could? Because you're the one who benefits. I think we're up to five breaths, we're halfway there. We have two more breaths, or at least I do. Okay, wherever you are, draw your knees in and very slowly, now round your spine as you move down. Inhale, point your toes and roll back. And so this may be where you want to land. It's just a nice, once again, nice stretch. You've engaged your legs. It's a, it's just, I think, a lovely pose. Back of your head, resting on the mat, and breathe. Now, if you want to take it all the way to shoulder stand, begin to just come onto your shoulders, back of your head, and now point your toes. Gaze forward. I think I mentioned I love this pose for a lot of reasons, but one is I get to look at my belly rise on each inhale automatically and then pull it in on the exhale. It's a really wonderful pose to watch that and breathe. Let's do three more breaths here finding this nice pose, a nice inversion. Okay, on your next exhale, begin to drop your feet over your head and maybe you can grab, bring your fingers, your hands together. And if you can, flex your feet and really feel the nice stretch in the back of your legs and breathe. On your next exhale, release your hands, place both palms down, and now all core. Tell the core it's on stage right now. 
everything that's happening, your core is controlling. So all the way down. We're gonna go slowly and hover. Hover our legs. So you're slowly moving your legs down. And we can, what's that game, uncle? You know who? Anyhow, if you wait the longest and, so let's just hover here. Breathe, point and flex to distract yourself so that you're not really thinking about what's happening, but your core is really engaged. Breathe, just this simple movement. Okay, three more. Sips of air, feel it. Your body's alive. On your next inhale, draw your feet in. Exhale, right leg comes down. Interlace your hands a little bit below your left knee. Avoid your rib cage. Draw your knee into your shoulder and breathe. On your next exhale, taking your right hand to the outside of your left knee, extend your left arm out to the side. More important, you keep your shoulders on the mat than bringing your knee to touch the ground. Just a nice, easy twist. On your next inhale, using your core, to bring your left leg up, extend your right arm, inhale, bring your right knee to meet your left. Exhale, slowly bring your left leg down. Flex your foot um, so your calf is on the floor. Inhale, a couple of inches below your right knee, avoiding your rib cage, drawing in your right knee to your right shoulder, back of your head resting, cutting off the blood supply to your ascending colon. We did the descending colon, then we'll do the transverse. I know, anatomy isn't my strong suit, but these are excellent digestive poses. Breathe. On your next exhale, taking your left hand to the outside of your right knee, extend your right arm out, drop your knee over, keeping your shoulders on the mat, gazing down your right shoulder, and breathe. Nice, easy twist. Okay, on your next inhale, using your core, moving slowly, because then you can really feel Bringing your left arm out, inhale as you draw your left knee out. Exhale, bring both knees up, flex your feet, back of your head resting. Point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. This time you point just very slowly. Bring both legs down to the mat. Bend your knees, roll over. We've got one more pose. I know you really thought you were going to Shavasana. Hate to do it to you folks. Not there quite yet. Very shortly. Okay. We're saving the best for last. This is a really top. Everyone grab some water. Um, so we're going to cross. Cross your legs. Draw your feet in as best as you can. I should have said if you had two blocks, you know, for some, you know, it's really going to be important. This is a tough pose. I'm going to go to the side and just show you what we're going to do, but this is using the core. And it's kind of our peak pose here. So without blocks, you're just going to raise up and you're going to try to come onto, once again, not onto your wrists, using your fingertips and Bring up as high as you can. By using the blocks, 
you may be able to get your feet off. I really can't. This is really a, a tough pose. So once again, coming up, and if you can, bring your feet off. Some of you are gonna be able to, and that's wonderful. But this is a good start, just trying to keep your feet off. This is using your core. If you can't, just staying here a little bit and breathing, really finding the um, contraction in the abdomen area. Draw up your pelvic area and hold it here. Let's hold it for five breaths. So really, and if you can, draw your feet off and God bless you that you can. I can't, but that's not gonna stop me from trying. So keep that in mind. Two more breaths. This is good for the core, the hip flexor. On your next exhale, come down. Move your blocks. Just gonna do one stretch while we're down here. Let's extend, opening your legs to the side, flex your feet, remove my T. Shoulders up, back and down. Taking your left hand, bend your left knee, and maybe, you know, if you can, taking your elbow to the inside of your thigh, placing your hand underneath your calf, just gives you a nice, you know, some tension to twist. If you can't, place your hand on the front side, drop your elbow down, and that's perfect. Wherever you are, on your next inhale, raise your right arm up. Inhale, flex your feet, engage your core, gaze up. One more inhale and exhale here. On your next exhale, come down to center. Take an inhale, roll your shoulders back. Exhale. Inhale, take your right hand on top to the side, palm underneath your calf, wherever you are, just so you can twist your shoulders over to the side. Inhale, left arm comes up reaches up, feet are flexed, core is engaged, pelvic area pulled up, and breathe. Ah, oh, one last stretch here. On your next exhale, floating down. And now walk your hands out front, coming onto your elbows, drop your head, Flex your feet and just breathe. Pull your kneecaps up. Thighs are engaged, kneecaps are pulled up, protecting the lower back. Elbows down, chin to chest, and just hang out for a couple of breaths here. One more deep Ujjayi breath. On your next inhale, walk your hands back, draw your legs together, shake your legs out. You did it. Okay. Everyone come back down to Shavasana. Find your way into Shavasana. We're gonna do a nice, we have a little more time to do a full body meditation. So I'm gonna walk you through from toes to nose kind of um, meditation. Breathe. Make any movements you need to get comfortable. Each exhale has you feeling a little heavier. Really feel that with your eyes closed, back of your head. Make sure that your spine is aligned, straight. and just breathe. And now what I'd love you to do is 
Quench your toes, hold them. Really hold your toes as tight as you can and then release. And now draw in your calves as though you were tightening your calves, both of them together. Hold it because you can. And now let it go. And now taking your thighs and your knees, pulling your kneecaps up, pull your kneecaps up. Hold them. Feel your kneecaps engaged, tight, wrapped around the bones. And now let go. And now your thighs, those juicy big thighs that are so critical to our walking and beautiful their size and their strength. Pull them in, tighten them. Draw in the pelvic bottom, your pelvic floor. Really feel all of that tied together, the power there. And now let it go. And your backside, your gluteus maximus muscles, pull them together like you were pinching your cheeks together and again draw in your pelvic floor. Really feel the blood cut off the oxygen for the moment as you draw it in and then let it go. And now your belly that you've worked so hard today, pull it in, contract it as though you were knitting it together. Really hold it. Keep holding it. Still able to breathe, not holding your breath, just your muscles. And then let it go. And now your palms of your hand, your fingers. Make fists, draw them tight, pull them in, feel the power. All the work that these fingers do every day with phones, computers, mixing meals together, massaging, washing, all of those wonderful, pull it in and then let go and feel the life in the blood. And now your arms, tighten them, contract them, your biceps, your forearms, just engage them. Go inside, imagine where those muscles are wrapping around the bones. Tighten them. And then let it go. And now your neck. So you're on your back. I call this the Donald. So as though you were kissing the ceiling, really pull your jaw forward and look as ridiculous as he does. Really draw it in and hold it there as though no one is around to even see how ridiculous you look. But engage your neck, pulling it up and then let it go. And now your shoulders to your ears, draw them in, pull them in. Holding it there and then letting it go. And now elongating your neck. 
And now draw your entire face, squinch it up as though no one's here to see it. Really pull everything together. Hold it. Draw everything, eyes, nose, mouth, everything together. Hold it there. And then let it go. And now feel, maybe there's tingling. Maybe there's heat, whatever the sensation is. Notice it. That's who you are, the witness, marveling. over all the movements of the body. There's a saying that goes, whatever you believe about yourself on the inside manifests itself on the outside. So as we worked on our core today, physically, the very being of who we are, our core self, is where you are right now, that beautiful, serene, strong self that isn't afraid to make funny faces or do things That's who each one of us is. And now just begin to move your toes, your feet, and feel that movement because you can. And move in whatever way brings you back to a comfortable seated pose with sit bones rooted into your cushion shoulders, back, sitting tall, spine and core strong, extending through the crown of your head. On your next inhale, riding slowly, that beautiful inhale breath, all the way up with hands together in prayer. Exhale as you come to heart center the divine in me bows with such joy and gratitude to the divine in each of you for allowing me, trusting me to guide you through this sacred practice. Namaste. God bless. Have a wonderful day. And next week, we conclude our August toe, nose, uh, toes to the nose. I'll have to figure out what to do with our noses, but I've actually got a couple of ideas. So, so good to see all of you. And um, I hope to see you next week. All right. God bless. <laughs>